What up, YouTube? Tim Moose here. Here is my box office recap where I talk about the films in this weekend's box office and their results. Alright, coming in the number 5th spot, we got the Matt Damon film Stillwater. And its second week of release made about 10 million. It's not doing all that great, to be honest, yeah. But hey, a film like this is not gonna, like, do all um, bonkers or anything like that. But hey, I actually just saw the film um, yesterday, and I thought it was really cool. You know, Matt Damon was really decent. Tom McCarty did a good job of directing. I'll probably do my review for that um, here in a bit, but I really thought it was a really decent nice film. Abigail Breslin was great. Um, so, if you guys haven't really seen it, I'll say give it a shot. You'll probably enjoy it. Alright, coming in number four spot, we got Black Widow, which in its uh, fifth week of release made 174.3 million. Yeah, I mean, uh,. Oh boy, no wonder why uh, Scott John had so much to suit this thing. I mean, th these numbers are not impressive at all. It's rare for Marvel films to flop, by the way. I mean, yeah, but it is what it is, I guess. Alright, coming in number third spot, we got M.I. Shaman's O. In its third week of release, managed to make 38.5 million. Still a little better than, um, than before, but, uh,. Yeah, it's still not doing that strong. It's still, like, it was not that great, to be honest with you, but, you know, yeah. Probably one of, um, M.I. Shaman's lowest grossing movies in recent years. Maybe even more, it's still a little higher than, uh, Last Air Render, that's for sure, but still, uh, ooh. I don't know, maybe because it's Delta Baron and everything, maybe that could be it, but, well. Alright, coming in number two spot, we got Jungle Cruise, and it's second week of release. Managed to make 65.3 million. This is actually the highest grossing film on this list, by the way. This movie's pretty good. Well, I mean, uh, it is Dwayne Johnson, so it doesn't hurt, hurt because Dwayne Johnson is in it, isn't it? But it's still hanging in there, it's still being strong. I mean, probably like whoever would expect that Jungle Cruise would make more than uh, the Black Widow. Yeah, let's like who would expect a film based on a Disneyland ride will make more than it? The MCU film. I would not have expected that, but yeah, hopefully Chang Chi and the Eternals will be stronger. But we'll see what happens there. Anyway, speaking of superhero films, the number one film in this week's box office, we got The Suicide Squad, which made a disappointing of twenty six point five million. Uh, I don't know what happened. I mean this. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna, you know, pretend it's Delta Baron. Because, to be honest, this movie was so good. It was entertaining. Uh, the word of mouth was pretty good. It's a shame that it did not do so well. I mean, I don't know. Maybe the second week will release. Maybe it'll do a little better. But, yeah. Uh, these numbers are not so good. I mean, it makes me wonder if we're even gonna get a third one. But, hey, uh, word of mouth is, like, word of mouth is still pretty decent. I mean, this movie did make less than uh, James Gunn's um, Gods Galaxy films, but uh, yes, not doing all that off the press. All right, other films of this weekend's uh, box office. Um, on at, in the number six spot, we got The Green Knight, which in its second week of release made twelve point one million. Uh, the Green um, Space Jam: A New Legacy. Made a lackluster of 65.6 .6 million in its fourth week of release. Snake Eyes in its uh, eighth week of release made about, uh, I mean, Snake Eyes came in number eight in its uh, third week of release made about a 20, made a disappointing 26 million. Oof. Escape Room 2 in its fourth week of release hit number nine, making uh, 23 million. I think they should just release this thing in January. It would have done much better in January, to be honest with you, but yeah. Alright, and coming in number 10 spot, we got Fast 9, which is 7th week of release, uh, managed to make 171 uh, mil. So, yeah, uh, there you have it, the box office. I mean, disappointing right here, uh, you know, films such as, uh, you know, such as Black Widow, such as uh, Suicide Squad, they should have done really well, but, yeah, they sadly did not do so well in the box office this week here, but it is what it is. I mean, this week, of course, we got Free Guy coming out. We got Don't Free 2, the uh, Aretha Franklin film, Don't uh, Respect. So we'll see which one of those will be, uh, will do well, but 
I, mean, I think with the Delta variant, maybe people are just a little cautious about going to movies and all, but yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, let me leave you guys. Uh, what are your thoughts on this weekend's box office and their results? Are there any surprises? Did you see any of the films in this weekend's list? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu Sign Off. <laughs>